Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and I've changed my mind about doing the Physics Benders this weekend. We are doing it this weekend. It is, uh, it's high time. Let's, uh, let's get this done. I'm pretty excited, actually. There's, so Rainbow Launcher, if you remember, Rainbow, La Rainbow Launcher was kind of a mistake in the last, in the Dreadnought competition. It is actually a mishmash. It's a Frankenstein ship of multiple different factions. And then, uh, of course, I have included Warpath, because he did request, uh, the guy, the maker of Warpath, did request that we do this in Physics Benders as well. And I've, I've got ready um, T and uh, another one from Circum Soldier, which is 402,000. Uh, just, I, they're not going in this competition, but I'm kind of curious. Maybe we'll do something quick afterwards to see how well they would do. Um, otherwise, we've got some, look at this, look at the Sanix Antimatter Blaster. Look at this, it looks nuts. Um, jet Propelled Corridor. Uh, you know, I, I'm, call me crazy, but I almost look forward for this, to this part of the competition more than the other parts. Okay, I am ready to go. Let's, uh, let's get this underway. I'm pretty stoked. Okay, here we go. So we've got, uh, Sanix versus Eurist. Uh, Tarmogoth. <laughs> wow, took a chunk off right away. I love the spinny ships. I love them. I think they're so cool. Sanic, that is a neat looking ship. Eurist, it looks like you got chewed up pretty quickly. Yeah, uh, Sanix, and it, it, Sanix didn't even reach a huge speed. And here we go, Mr. Blobby versus Warpath. So Warpath, again, using that uh, the small ship design. I, I'm curious to know... Really? Oh, Warpath is winning. Look, he's got one drone out there that's just chewing him up. Oh, what a bummer. You know what? You know what? Let's let's try this without Warpath for now. Okay, yeah. So, sorry, um, I, f I forget who the creator is of Warpath. We're, we're, I'll put you in for the next part of the competition. I just want this to be just the the straight up ships for now. Um, I know I shouldn't exclude you at all, but uh, we'll do. An, I'll. Do, I don't mind. I think we'll have enough time to do another full uh, section. Look at this. Look at that. <gasps> that is nuts. That is uh, an amazing ship, by the way. Crazy, crazy insane. Interceptor versus, I can't even pronounce that, sorry. Cheeky, Cheeky Blighter. That's Leet Speak. Leet Speak. Amazing. Okay, so now we have Space Warper versus Mind Spin. Uh, Space Warper, wow, this is a Camel 5 design. And it teleports, apparently. <laughs> Did you see that? It's a teleporting ship. Yes. Uh, how? I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know how it does that. Uh, is that is that a play? It's not a playable device that allows it to do that. I don't know. But look at that. That is that's madness. Absolute madness. Uh, Mind spin by Audi Cook Me. You never stood a chance, man. And it's you gotta like this part of the competition simply because there is no well there is some restrictions. We've already included restrictions, but not like there is in the other parts of the competition. Holy crap! So this is, uh, I think he named the ship Shotgun, but it showed up as Null. Um, I, I don't remember who the, the maker is of that ship, but that's nuts! Versus Starstruck, and we're finding that, I'm finding that a lot of these ships now are of multiple different factions. Don't be upset if you lose this. It doesn't matter. This is just for fun. That is crazy. You have to appreciate, uh, the creativity here. Lobster. That is very colorful. Lobster. Um... So it is definitely a Frankenstein ship versus Mr. Blobby. So Mr. Blobby, I wanted to give you another chance. So you're an, a typical Faction 4 ship. Interesting. So you have to be part of the uh, Physics Banders. Wow. Okay, Lobster. Just a lot of missiles. So that, that's all that won this. That's crazy. So what kind of missiles are those? Those are really fast firing and heavy hitting missiles. I think... I don't know. It looks like they're Faction 2 missiles, but... I don't remember Faction 2 missiles moving so fast, but, uh, yeah. What the? What? Okay. Uh, bizarre. Okay, and here we have Eurist again versus Rainbow Launcher. Rainbow Launcher, of course, we, uh, I entered him incorrectly in the first part of the competition. Um, because he's pretty, well, he's, he's a Frankenstein ship, so he's got multiple different factions. Whoa! Spinny ships don't stand a chance against that. Holy crap! <laughs> Wow, okay, Sanix, uh, ship versus the Corruptors, the Corruption Mother, so, uh, yeah, 
Uh, that is nuts. That, just what is that kind of what kind of beam weapons are those? Just uh, proton beams? Yeah, just proton beams in there. It's not ever cool. Just rips them apart. Just cuts them in half. Really, really quickly. Amazing. It's it's like uh, it slices. It dices. It chops. It grates. It. Uh, oh no! Destroyer of worlds by Sir Boomalot, I believe. Um, just got eaten up by uh, amazing ship. Uh, oh yikes. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, geez. Once he takes out part of that spinny, if you can get up to speed, you're okay. But getting up to speed might be uh, kind of tricky. Actually, even getting up to speed, you might not be okay. Uh, well, don't feel bad, Sir Boomalot. This is against uh, the one of the old, old, old veterans. I don't know. I don't know. And he's, of course, he's using Frankenstein ships, not just a spinning ship, but it's a Frankenstein ship. So both of these ships are Frankenstein ships. Now, Space Warper is Camel 5, and it teleports. <laughs> I don't even know how. How would you deal with You wouldn't be able to deal with that. Isn't it over? Like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and that's why we have no rules here. Just because... You know, if you can figure out how to make a ship teleport, I don't know, you deserve to win at least one fight. I mean, okay, so it looks like, uh, looks like Shotgun's still alive, but I don't know, I, I don't, I don't know actually what's happening. It looks like, looks like Space Warber's trying to fly in and get closer, but, uh, oh, uh, 26 seconds left. Uh, there's, there's just no way, like... Look at all the drones and stuff. I can barely see it. I'm sure you guys are having a heck of a time seeing it. I'm going to speed it up here because it's uh, it's crazy. I didn't even know there was such a thing as a teleporter in the game. Honestly, if there's a playable faction with a teleporter, I would love to know about it because I don't think there is. I think that is a non-playable function. Um, is there is there actually a ship in the game that can do this? Like even a non-playable faction? I've, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, we're just going to say that Space Warper won it with three points? Um, <laughs> this is nuts. Uh, I think it's pretty safe to say that if we were going to do this seriously, we wouldn't allow the teleporter thing. But we'll see how well you fare against Amazing Ship before we go too far. A lobster! Uh, oh, Rainbow Launcher. Rainbow Launcher is really effective. It uh, reminds me of the big 80,000 point ship that uh, Circum Soldier put in last week. It's not Circum Soldier ship though. I don't remember who the uh, entrance entry. I, it's Nar Karnarov? Naroff, I think is his name. Uh, that entered uh, Rainbow Launcher. Corruptors? Yeah, well. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, so the designer of Corruptors asked me to put in one ship called the Mother of the. Uh, Mother of the something, and I couldn't find it. Uh, mother of the Infected Crescent, and I found Infected Crescent, and I found Corruption Mother, but I didn't find the Mother of the Infected Crescent, so I don't think I put in the right ship. Uh, this is, of course, Camel 5 versus Amazing. This is this is an epic battle. Uh, I don't think Amazing's going to win this. I think it's going to be Camel 5, and... Uh, <laughs> oh, awesome! Look at that! I, I don't know. Where did this teleporter thing come from? This is amazing! Um, unfortunately, I don't think Amazing is going to win it. Oh, that's got to be upsetting, Amazing. <laughs> don't worry. Teleporters from here on in, Camo 5, just to let you know. We're not going to allow that in, in, the rig in this competition, but uh, in this part of the competition. I hate excluding stuff, but, you know, <laughs> it's, just, it's totally unfair. <laughs> uh, but we expect it to be unfair. I'm just going to fast forward this. Uh, maybe we'll do another one without you here, Camo. Come on. I mean, it's, it's awesome. I mean, what? Amazing got you. Are you kidding me? Amazing still got you. I hope you're watching this. I think Camo5 is watching this. He's probably just as shocked as I am. How did that happen? You didn't teleport. You you hit the, the wrong button in the console. You're like, hit the teleport button. Oh, I hit the uh, provide synthesize T button. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. Uh, so, I don't know. You never know, I guess. I guess you never know. But I think... I think unless something really surprising happens here, I think it's going to be uh, Space Warper for round two. And then uh, all it's going to take is one shot from Amazing, and you're done. But uh, that that teleporter is amazing. Like, that's incredible. Uh, oh, you were taking damage there. You took a little bit. Now, I don't think... See, the spinning isn't your best quality. Your best quality definitely is the teleportation. 
because uh, I tell you, amazing. Once he once he tracks you, you're done. <laughs> but that teleporter, if you can just zap away, then I mean, oh, look at that! That that whole teleporting and then shooting that massive array of stuff. You may still lose this though, uh, Camo Five. I don't know. This is this is a close fight. Actually, well, you know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is why I find it really hard to exclude things because there's always a way to beat something. Even that crazy teleporter just proved me wrong. Ah, uh, okay. So Rainbow Launcher versus uh, Sanic. Sanic has done very, very well here. Chewed up Rainbow. Oh no, he's got him. He's got him. Maybe. Oh, the laser drones are just chewing him up enough. Oh, you almost had Rainbow. Good job, Rainbow. Knar Naroff, I think. Knaroff? Knaroff, I think is his name. And, of course, Sanic. <laughs> uh, oh, good fight, though. Considering Rainbow really hasn't had any... Oh, well, there you go. Rainbow's got it. But I think, Rainbow, now you might be in trouble against Amazing Ship. Of course, this is the Physics Benders competition, so you have to expect something unreal and unnatural to be fighting against you. So just remember that as this continues. Um, because I don't think it's going to end well for you. But then I could be totally wrong. What kind of armor do you have on there? Wow, you almost had him. Um, he, he, Rainbow, if you notice here, he actually knocked out one of those guns. And he he got in close and started actually applying some serious damage. He could actually win it. Oh, no. No, it goes out to amazing. Ah, great fight. Great fight. Okay. <laughs> Before we go, um, let's throw in the fun ships. This is totally for fun. We're throwing in T2 as well. We're going to throw in uh, Ultima. And what was the other one uh, that we took out? Uh, was that it? I think, th I think that was it. I think everybody else is in here. So let's just do that really quickly. And we're going to fast forward through, the, uh, for, through some of the fights here. Just so that uh, it moves by pretty quickly. Because, uh, oh, Rainbow versus Space Warper. Oh, that almost would be an interesting fight, except Space Warper would just fast forward. <laughs> I, what I'm in, more interested in here is to see how well the 500p ship T does and Warpath, both of those ships. I'm interested to see how well those ships do. So we're just going to whip through this really quickly. I have a feeling that they will not do so well. And of course, I think the 400,000 point ship will win. And if it doesn't, I'm going to ask, of course, the question, why? Are you kidding? Eurus won that. That is crazy! Oh, wow. Okay. Um, there we go. Sanic versus uh, Mind Spin. Spat it up. Oh, Sanic got him. And got him. Maybe? There we go. <laughs> and Ultima versus Lobster. Ultima is 402,000 points. Oh. My. My gosh. <laughs> I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see what a 400,000 point... Look at all the nukes coming off of that. It's just spewing nukes. It just... It's bleeding weapons. It's slowing down my computer. It's uh, probably causing all sorts of crazy audio desync stuff. So if there is audio desync here, it's uh, Ultima's fault or Circum Soldier's fault. I just wanted to see what it would, what would happen. Okay, so we'll fast forward through this one. Star Strike versus Interceptor. Actually, it might be a good fight. Uh, oh! One, all it takes is a random shot from either ship to win it. Oh, it goes interceptor. <laughs> Once they get up to speed, it's just basically random. Look at that! Shoot! Oh, good aim! Look at the aim. Uh, uh, interceptor's aim is actually impeccable. That's amazing. Oh, but if it gets close, it's got oh, it's like got blades on the edge of it. Oh, I love it! I like Star Strike. That's cool. It's got uh, the beams on him. I think that's a really cool concept. Uh, it's too bad those beams aren't longer range, eh? Um, just be able to cover a really wide area with those those lasers. Oh, awesome. Good fight. Good fight. All right, so here we go. We've got Null. I think that's Shotgun versus Destroyer of Worlds. Destroyer of Worlds is Sir Boomalot. You're not getting up to speed fast enough. I think you have nukes on that. Oh, but the nukes can't get close enough. Oh! <laughs> um, so Sir Boomalot's ship is a spinny ship with nukes. I would love to see that get up to speed, but for some reason it's not It's not getting, it's not speeding up, and I don't know why. It, 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 it's weird. I, I would take a look at that. I don't, I don't know why it wasn't speeding up. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Anyway, uh, super. Okay, so Space Warper versus Earth. I think Space Warper will get, get this because, yeah. Because, yeah, because it's a crazy silly ship. 
<laughs> it's it's insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, and then Ultima versus Interceptor. Uh... <laughs> um, my whole machine has stopped running, essentially. Um... <laughs> There's so many beam weapons on that ship that when it fires it, it causes my machine, which is a pretty pretty hardcore machine to kind of hesitate and pause. So let's see that again. Let's see if it crashes everything. Oh, oh no. Good job. <laughs> I, I know it's not really a good job. It's just 400,000 points. 400,000 point ship. That's what happens. I had to show it off. I mean, somebody's going to send me a 400,000 point ship. I have to show it. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, oh. Yeah, amazing. Yep. Over. Yep. <laughs> We still, oh, here we go, T. Here's the first one with T. So I'm curious to see how well T and Warpath do in this competition. I'm still going to speed it up just because uh, these aren't terribly exciting fights when T starts going. But look at this. He's dragging him. He's kiting him. I don't think he's going to be able to do this against Ultima. I just don't think that's going to be possible. Um, but in this case, uh-oh. Yeah, round one belonged to T. And I think round two might too as well. Look at this. Yeah, amazing. It's, you have to admit, T's design, I've seen small ships against big ships. They don't always win. T, by the Awa Samil, the Awa, the Awa Samil, Awa Samwil, sorry, it's hard to pronounce Awa, sorry. His ship, his design is good. It's really good. Even in, comparatively to other small ships, it is a good design. And you really can't dispute that because I've seen other smaller ships not do as well against bigger ships. So, I don't know. I, I still think the Awa Samwil has a, has a really good design. Call me crazy, but that's what I think. Sorry, I'm just going to speed this up. We know you're going to win Space Warper. We know. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I think you're going to win. Or it's... Yeah, I don't know who won. Who won? Space Warper. Okay. Uh, so, Sanic versus Ultima. <laughs> uh... Holy crap! Look at that main weapon! <gasps> Holy crap! Causes my whole computer to just stop running. Oh, all the laser drones! I don't, I don't care how small and maneuverable your ship is, you're not going to be able to dodge this madness. I don't know, is is it going to crash reassembly? There's a really good chance that not only will I crash, but I'm going to have audio desync issues here. <laughs> um, yeah, you won. Speed it up. Whoa, there it goes. Oh, look at all the nukes going off. Like, I don't know, accidentally going off or something? I don't even know. Uh, looks like you got some range this time. I, I don't even know where Sanic's ship is. It's so buried. There's so much other sh schmutz and crap on the screen now that you can't even tell. Okay. All right. I was just curious. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> T versus Warpath. That's interesting. Not really what I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping that these two wouldn't be fighting. Uh, but I guess I guess we'll just fast forward this. If Warpath beats T, I don't know. <laughs> Again, it just depends who you're fighting, right? Totally depends. Okay, so we'll just speed that up. <laughs> uh, so Warpath did four points, winning the first round. And Warpath hasn't done any points, uh, which means it's... Anybody's game? Don't oh, Warpath did two points. There we go, two points. I think Warpath is faster. And T, I think, well, they're both designed to be running away from the enemy. So if one one of them is chasing, it's not as good, you know? So Space what Oh, here we go. Space Warper versus Ultima. Um, so teleportation versus... Size. I don't know. I think we're just going to fast forward this. Hopefully this doesn't lock up my machine 32 times. Oh. It's not... <laughs> We're lagging. That's what the problem is. It's supposed to be going at uh, super speed, but it's it's not. There's just too much. Look at all the missiles or whatever that is. Oh, God. All right. Well, <laughs> the game itself won't fast forward, but I can still fast forward for you. <laughs> so we'll do that here. Well, that's that now, isn't it? Um, I don't know that we can actually finish this uh, tournament now because of, well, 
it's not really a tournament. This is just for fun, just to see what would happen. <laughs> we, we can't finish this because it's just going to get... It's going to do the same thing over and over and over. And uh, yeah, so I think, I think that's it. <laughs> it was super fun. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, as far as a clear winner, I don't think there's ever really a clear winner in this category. Um, I don't think there can be. So, you know, don't, don't run to me and say, well, we have to, you know... You get mad at me, of course. I've said that a lot today, but I think that's really, really important that, you know, this is, especially this category is just for fun. And uh, the first, the first round, uh, let's see, who was, who was the winner of the first round? I think it was, uh, I think it was Amazing. I think Amazing took it. Either Amazing or, or Space Warper, whatever. I don't know. All of these are t really interesting in their own right. And, you know, it's, look at the evolution from where we began. We began with, you know, little ships like, like Star Strike. Um, Star Trek is, is, is a good ship by its own right. But the evolution of where where we were there to, you know, like Space Warper and uh, Lobster and Rainbow Launcher, you know, some really amazing ships that are not necessarily relying on circularly just spinning, um, just uh, combinations of different factions and stuff. So this is this one was just for fun. I hope you guys liked it. I love putting these together still. And stay tuned to find out when the next tournament will be. Like I was saying in the Dreadnought tournament, it will be probably a monthly thing now. And uh, I will post an update about that probably next Friday. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.